What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve quadratic equations by graphing, all right? And there's basically three different cases. So you're gonna either have one solution, two solutions, or no solutions, all right? So I'm gonna do an example of each one of those. So let's start with this one right here. It says solve x squared plus two x is equal to three by graphing. So the first thing you wanna do here is convert your equation into standard form, which if you don't remember, it's this equation right here. Y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, okay? So here we have x squared plus basically bx, but then our c is on the other side of this equal sign, right? So the first thing we need to do is get this three right here to that side of the equation. So to do that, we're going to subtract three from both sides, and I'll write it down here. So we have x squared plus two x is equal to three, and then we're gonna move this three by subtracting three, and what we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So then these cancel out, and then on this side, we're left with x squared plus two x minus three. All right, so this is the equation that we're gonna graph. So this is y is equal to, and then here's our equation, okay? So now that it's in standard form, a couple things to keep in mind is, whenever you graph a quadratic equation, it's a parabola, right? Now the first term right here tells you if the parabola is gonna open up or down, okay? So if this is positive, so here we basically have a positive one, right? If it's positive, it's gonna open up, and if there's a negative number here, then it's gonna open down like that. And then the other thing to keep in mind is this last number, the plus C, this tells you where your y-intercept is. And the y-intercept is just wherever the parabola crosses the y-axis, all right? So those are the two things you wanna kinda of look out for with the equation, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do in order to graph this is we need to find the axis of symmetry, and I'm just gonna abbreviate, the axis of symmetry, okay? And remember the axis of symmetry is just a straight line that goes down the middle of your parabola and it basically just cuts it into two identical pieces or two symmetrical pieces, right? So the way you do that is using this little formula right here. So it's gonna be x is equal to negative b over 2a. Okay, and to uh, avoid any confusion, let me clean that up a little bit. Okay, now a and b, these are just coefficients, right? So if you look at this one up here, uh, a is the first one, b is the second one, and then c is the last one, right? So then if we look at our equation over here, uh, the first term, a is going to be basically, a, we have a positive one right there, right? So that's gonna be A. And then B on top is this positive two, okay? So then this is gonna be equal to negative B, which is gonna be two over uh, two times A, and A is one, okay? So then here we have uh, basically negative two over two. Now two divided by two is equal to one. So then this is really equal to negative one, okay? So our axis of symmetry is at X, is equal to negative one, and I'll write it right here. X is equal to negative one, okay? Now, the next thing we have to do is find the vertex. And to find the vertex, all you have to do is plug in your X value right here that we just found into the equation that we're graphing, so this one right here, right? Y is equal to X squared plus two X minus three, okay? So we're gonna say Y is equal to, but we're gonna plug in a negative one for the X's, right? So this X and this X. So we're gonna get Y is equal to negative one squared, plus two times x, which again is negative one, minus three. Okay, so then this is gonna be equal to, negative one squared is equal to positive one, and then two times negative one is negative two, right, so minus two, and then minus three at the end. Okay, one minus two is equal to negative one, and negative one minus three is equal to negative four. Okay, so the y coordinate of the vertex is at negative four. Okay, so we know the x coordinate and the y coordinate, right? So it's at negative one comma negative four. And I'll write it over here just to have it here. Negative one comma negative four. Okay, so again, this is our vertex, right? So it's at negative one, negative four. Now, in order to graph a parabola, you need at least three points. So the other point that we can graph is the y-intercept. So if you remember, the y-intercept is the last number, right? It's the plus c part, right? So here it's at negative three. So that means that our parabola is going to hit the y-axis, right, the y-intercept, at negative three, so right here. Okay, so again, the vertex is right here at negative one, negative four. The y-intercept is right here at zero, negative three. Okay, now to get from the vertex to this point over here, we have to go over one and then up one, right? So to find a symmetrical point on this side, we can do the same thing. We can go over one and then up one right there. So there's our third point. And this point is at, let's see, negative two, negative three. Okay, so now we have our three dots. Now we can play connect the dots. So it's going to look something like that. Okay, so there's your parabola. Now, wherever the parabola hits the x-axis, those are where your solutions are. Okay, so you can see the parabola over here. I didn't draw it super clean right here, but you can see it hits the x-axis at about negative three. And on this side, it hits the x-axis at about positive one. Okay, so it looks like our x-intercepts 
the x-intercepts are at negative 3 and positive 1. Okay, so that means these two numbers right here, negative 3 and positive 1, should be solutions to our original equation up here, x squared plus 2x is equal to 3, okay? And you can check them just in case. We can do that at least with this first problem. So let's plug in negative 3 to this first equation right here. So we're going to have negative 3 squared plus 2 times negative 3 is equal to 3, right? Now negative 3 squared is equal to positive 9, and then 2 times negative 3 is equal to negative 6, right? So minus 6. So we have 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. That's obviously a true statement, right? So that means negative 3 is a solution to this equation, right? And then the other one we can check is 1 over here. So if we plug in 1, uh, we're going to get 1 squared plus 2 times 1 is equal to 3. Now 1 squared is equal to 1, and then 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. That's also a true statement, obviously. So that means 1 is also a solution. All right, here's the next one. So this one says solve 2x squared minus 4x is equal to negative 2 by graphing. All right, so again, the first thing you want to do is just write this in standard form. So we're going to have y is equal to 2x squared minus 4x. And then this negative 2, we're going to move to this side, right, by adding 2 to both sides. Let's cancel out. So then we just have a plus 2 right there. Okay, so this is what we're graphing. 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. Now, as you can see, the number that we have right here for our a, right, this is a, this is b, and then this is c. So our a here is positive, so that means our prowl is going to open up. And here we have a y-intercept at positive 2. So the prowl is going to hit the y-axis right here at positive 2. Okay, but the first thing we need to do again is just find the axis of symmetry and the vertex, right? So the axis of symmetry, again, is just uh, this little formula right here. x is equal to negative b over 2a, right? So then here we're going to have uh, that x is equal to negative. Now b in this case is negative 4, right? Make sure you include the sign. So it's going to be a negative 4 over 2 times a, and a is 2. Okay, so then here this is equal to negative, and then negative 4 over 4. Negative 4 divided by 4 is equal to negative 1. So here this is equal to negative, uh, negative 1. And a negative times negative is a positive, so this is equal to positive, positive 1, right? So the axis of symmetry is that x is equal to positive 1. Okay, so again, that also means that the x coordinate for the vertex is at x is equal to 1, right? So to find the y coordinate, we just need to plug in our x into our formula over here. So we're going to get y is equal to 2 times x squared, so we're going to have 1 squared minus 4x, so minus 4 times 1, and then plus 2 at the end, right? Here, 1 squared is equal to 1, so 1 times 2 is equal to 2, so this is equal to 2, and then 4 times 1 is equal to 4, so here we have minus 4, negative 4, uh, plus 2. Okay, 2 minus 4 is equal to negative 2, and negative 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so the y-coordinate for our vertex is at 0. Okay, so the vertex is at 1, comma, 0. So 1, comma, 0 is right there, right? That's the vertex, 1, comma, 0. Okay, so we just need two more points. So the other one we can, again, grab from our y-intercept. So the y-intercept is at positive 2. So we know that the parabola hits the y-axis at positive 2 right there. So that's at 0, comma, 2. Now to get from the vertex to this point right here, we have to go over 1 and then up 2. So to find this point over here, same thing, just go over 1 and then up 2. So this is a symmetrical point that we can graph for our parabola. So this one is at 2, comma, 2. All right, so we have our three points. We know it's going to face up. So then, oops, just play connect the dots like that, right? Just like so. Okay, so now that our parabola is graphed, remember, our answers are wherever the parabola hits the x-axis, right? Or in other words, the x-intercepts. And it looks like the parabola hits the x-axis at only a single point right here, right? Right where the vertex is. So right here at 1, comma, 0. Okay, so the parabola hits uh, the x-axis at positive 1, right? So our x-intercept, and it's only one intercept in this case, right, is at x is equal to positive 1, right? So that would be your answer. And then again, if you wanted to check it, you could just plug this into the original equation to see if it works, but in this case, you'll find that it does. All right, so this one says solve negative x squared is equal to 2x plus 4 by graphing, okay? So again, we just want to get this into standard form. So in this case, we can actually move the x squared to the right side, right? We can add x squared to both sides. So these cancel out. So then on this side, now we have positive, right, x squared 
uh, plus 2x plus 2x plus 4. All right, so this is the equation we're graphing this time. So y is equal to our equation right here. Okay, so again, in this case, you can see that the parabola is going to open upward, right? Because there's just a positive one right there. And it's also going to hit the y-axis, right? The y-intercept at positive four, okay? So in order to graph this again, let's just do our two steps, the axis of symmetry. So that's at x is equal to negative b over 2a, right? So then here, this is gonna be equal to, what's our b in this case? Positive two and our a is positive one, okay? So this is equal to negative and then uh, two over two times one, okay? So 2 divided by, well, 2 is just equal to 1, so this is equal to negative 1, right? So the axis of symmetry is at x is equal to negative 1, all right? Now to find the y-coordinate for, for the vertex, just plug this x back into the equation. So we're going to have y is equal to uh, negative 1, right? Negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 plus 4. Okay, so then this is going to be equal to negative 1 squared is equal to 1, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and then positive 4 at the end. Okay, so 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1, and negative 1 plus 4 is equal to positive 3. Okay, so our y-coordinate is at positive 3, right? So the vertex is at negative 1, positive 3. Negative 1, positive 3. Okay, now we just need two more points, right? So again, we can pull that from uh, the y-intercept over here. So it's at positive 4, right? So positive 4 is right there. And then to get a symmetrical point over here, well, uh, we just need to go over one and then up one here. So do the same thing, right? Over one, up one, right there, okay? So then we can just play, connect the dots like so, okay? Now that our parabola is graphed, remember the answers are wherever the parabola hits the x-axis. And in this case, you can obviously see the parabola doesn't even touch the x-axis, right? It doesn't cross it anywhere. So in this case, that means there are no solutions. I'll just abbreviate, okay? So there's no number we could plug in for x that would give us a balanced equation up here, okay? So again, for this problem, there's no solutions. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.